Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about both Star Ocean games on the PSP. Star Ocean has an interesting history. Back in 1995, a majority of the team that created Tales of Fantasia left Namco due to creative differences. The team moved on to Tri-Ace, whose debut title was Star Ocean. Star Ocean for the Famicom. It was one of the earliest games in which you could alter the storyline's outcome through dialogue choices. Also the game was good looking, it was pushing the limitations of the cartridge to its limits. The game even had some low quality voice acting, which was something unheard of back then. Star Ocean First Departure is a remake of that game, and the biggest novelties for it is that it has cutscenes and full voice acting now. Also, even if the game would seem like it, it's not a turn-based RPG. You still encounter enemies randomly, but the fighting itself feels like an action title. The only time the game pauses is when you select your magic attack. The AI, on the other hand, is very stupid. You can issue three commands on your teammates. You can tell them to go all out on the enemy, to conserve their magic, or to focus on healing. And the problem is that they will do what you tell them literally. If you put them in attack mode, they will only attack the enemy with weak attacks and then die because they aren't intelligent enough to use a potion or retreat to heal. If you tell them to focus on healing, they will do only that and forget to fight back. Also some of the hidden locations you must visit in order to advance in the plot are unmarked on the map. So you must wander aimlessly around and find those places, which quickly becomes irritating. But the customization for your characters on the other hand is good. Each level up grants you skill points that allow you to give your character different abilities. They range from stronger basic attacks or reduced cast time in battle item creation. Each character has a particular affinity towards certain skills, but you are free to ignore those. Overall. The game is decent for today's standards, but this story is very cliche filled for today. By the time it came out, it wasn't so cliche, but overuse of some stuff over the years makes it cliche now, and other gameplay stuff can get irritating, like the bad AI or that the game doesn't tell you where to go, so that it leads to a lot of backtracking. But in rest, the engaging battle system, along with the game's history, makes it a proud entry in your collection if you find the game as a physical copy. Star Ocean Second Evolution is a remake of Star Ocean The Second Story, the sequel of the first Star Ocean game. This game has the same menus and screens, which makes it feel like a part 2 of the same game. One of the greatest strengths of Star Ocean Second Evolution is the option to select either Claude or Rina at the beginning of the game and get a different take on the same story. Each scenario comes with unique events and different characters, which means that playing the game a second time with the other character leads to a different story. If you play the game with Claude you will have one story and if you play the game with Rina you have a different story. Also, there are around 86 different endings in the game, and if you count all the other choices across the game, you end up with hundreds of different alternatives in the story. This is impressive even today. Imagine how impressive it was when the game came out in 1998. Gameplay-wise, the game is just like the first one. You wander the world map, explore dungeons, fight monsters, and seek information to progress in the game. The game still doesn't tell you where to go, which leads to a lot of exploration and backtracking. The combat is still as great and, and impressive as in the first game, and some say that they were more engaged by the combat in the second game because there are more diverse characters in the game. And more diverse means more magic attacks and more experimenting around. Overall, the games are great. They might feel dated to some, because RPGs have improved and are constantly improving now, but this doesn't mean that because there are better games out there, these ones aren't great. The story and combat system are engaging, and playing an almost 30 year old game and still being engaging to a non-RPG fan like me is something. 
Sure, the backtracking and random encounters might feel exhausting if you're not a fan of the genre, but I'm still amazed how great the remakes turned out. The graphic overhaul is easily noticeable and the anime cutscene and the anime cutscenes and voice acting shows that Square Enix has put a lot of care into these games. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.